it, it worked good at 500 meters. Uh, you can sit there and pick things off. If you need to brawl for a little bit, you can. Go ahead and pick this guy off right here. And ba-boom, there we go, it's a nice takedown. Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at NatG, coming at you with a little War Robots action. We are on the canyon, this is Beacon Rush. And I'm starting off, I'm not gonna drop the Ocho right away. Um, I'm gonna drop a Kepri, a Siphos Splinter Kepri to be exact. Uh, this is a fun, this is a funky tank tank build, guys, and in a previous version of the meta, this actually would be really, really viable. Uh, right now, with the Ochos, is anything viable anymore? Not really. Uh, but this is just an interesting tank. Now, I did make a, when I put this together, the weapons work great. I got a good level, I believe it's a level 50 pilot on here, the Ni, Ni, Nihan, Nihan. The, uh, it still gives me more speed when I use my ability. Uh, but I forgot to put the right amplifiers on here. This thing has level one repair, nuclear, and immunity amplifiers. So this is going to take a little time to uh, charge up. But I mean, it's a fun. It's a fun build, guys. It it worked good at 500 meters. Uh, you can sit there and pick things off. And if you need to brawl for a little bit, you can. Let's go ahead and pick this guy off right here. And ba boom, there we go. It's a nice takedown. Uh, it's just an interesting build. Now, would uh, I advise anyone to go out there and, and build one of these in Champion League right now? Right now, I advise people don't build anything in Champion League. If you've got, just run with the hangar you've got and wait for the Ocho meta to come to an end. Because we just don't know what this whole world is going to turn into. And you're not going to know what bots are going to be good or which ones are going to be bad. We've got some nerfs on the meta ones out there already. Um, I'd like to see them buff this just a little bit, this Kepri. Can I get one more? Can I get another kill here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. stolen out from underneath me. Uh, but like I said, I wouldn't build anything right now. I, go, I would go on a 30-day, you know, building moratorium, so to speak. Because until this Ocho meta, you know, kind of piddles out and it gets nerfed into the ground... I just don't know what's coming down the pipe next, and there's nothing you can run right now that's going to do really, really good against the Ocho. There just really isn't a lot out there. Uh, there is a little bit of an argument to be made for the Ravana with Sonic uh, with the Sonic shotguns. Uh, it's not bad if you have the Pole Pilot, so you get three Transcendent skills. You get Death Survivor, so you get in a, in a, in a tough situation. You can you know you get down below half hit points. You get an additional Transcendence. Then you put phase shift on it, so you can kind of just keep yourself coming in and out and in and out of, uh, you know, basically uh, phase shift. Uh, that's basically what it's all about. Doing that will help you survive long enough to do some damage to the Ocho. But once you run out of all your transcendence, once you run out of all of your chances to uh, duck the damage, it's just going to mop the floor with you because it's not fast enough to get away. It's just it's just going to tear you to pieces. So. Uh, nothing, I wouldn't do anything uh, as far as you know, leveling, building, or doing anything until we know where the Ocha meta is going. Alrighty. I mean, if you want to level up some stuff you have in your hangar array, that, I guess that's that's up to you. But for me myself, uh, the next thing I'm looking at is I'm going to be I'm going to, I still I'm like one level away on my uh, Fafner for making it MK uh, MK2 level one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish that off. But I'm not going to build anything else until the Dagon drops, and that'll be in 9.5. I'll see what that can do. Maybe that might be an Ocho counter. kind of doubt it. It seems kind of squishy once you uh, get out of its, uh, you know, its special ability. I mean, it has a lot of firepower, but Ocho, in its, uh, <laughs> it's in its ability, the more firepower you throw at it, the stronger it is. So honestly, in, uh, <laughs> the Ocho might uh, actually get a boost from that. For a short period of time. Okay, we need to get this guy out of here. There we go. Now, I, I, I neglected to tell you what this is here. This, of course, is the Angler. And I did put the right amplifiers on this one. Now, what I've got on here is kind of a, kind of a mixed bag here. Since I, I moved uh, several of my shotguns over to my Kepri, I've got one Siphos, then I've got a, Bist, a Bistral, and then I've got the Splinters on the side here. So this is kind of a it's kind of a hybrid build. Uh, it has some really nice punch. I can do a little explosive damage as well, blast charge. It's it's just an interesting build to run. 
So let's go ahead and work on this guy here. And it feels good not dropping the uh, the Ocho right off the bat. Rampage, look at that, sweet. Uh, it's just nice seeing other things on the battlefield. Now, if there was an Ocho out here running, I'd have to drop my Ocho. Because really most of these bots here would be kind of ineffectual against them. I mean, I could sit at distance maybe and back up uh, other teammates at 500 meters. And this would help definitely with knocking one down. But I'm not, you just can't brawl with it. You just cannot brawl up against an Ocho with just about anything. Except another Ocho. It's, it's Champion League is Ocho War Robots. That's what it is. Okay. What do we got right there? We got ourselves. That's, that's another angler right there. Let's get rid of him. There's a kill. Nice. Would have been a godlike if I got that a little sooner. And I'm getting hammered out by bendy machine guns. And I've got a guy here sitting here uh, with his harpoon equipped links. Which, that took a pretty healthy nerf as well. And this, uh, when they finally went live here a little while ago. So... Definitely interesting. I'm glad there's no Ochos out here right now, so we can actually run some fun stuff. Okay, we are down on beacons, and it seems like my teammates are not are completely ignoring it. So let's go ahead, let's cap some beacons, wipe a few people out. It's Ocho time. Uh, I would like to have just ran other things, but I really, really, really want to get the win right now. And all I have left are Ophions, and they are not fast. So if I want to run and cap myself some beacons, I've got to use this. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that back. If a person wanted to build something that can actually stand up to an Ocho and can cap beacons, it'll give you victories. Skyros. Right specialty pilot. You put the right, uh, you know, the right modules on it. You've got the right pilot skills. You've got a maxed out specialty pilot for it. It's almost indestructible. You'll get kicked around like a soccer ball, but you can cap beacons. and You could actually win a match for your team just by running around capping beacons. The biggest mistake you can do is, uh, when you have a Skyros, is to actually take it out of ball mode. Yeah, it's nice to get a kill once in a while, but once you're in ball, out of ball mode, you're kind of hosed when you're a Skyros. And right there, he's he's relying on the fact that uh, no one's going to fire him. See, he just got absolutely obliterated by uh, someone else right there. That's why you never come out of ball mode. You just don't. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, let's get rid of these guys here. So I'm just going to go skitter, sliding past them. Let's go ahead and run back. We got a Demeter. We got a Lynx. We got one behind me as well here. We can get rid of this Demeter real quick because he's healing everyone up and we can't be having that. Okay. This thing fires. These harpoons, I mean, you can tell they are so slow compared to what they used to be. Uh, I wouldn't run harpoon weapons on anything but something that is monstrously destructive already like the Ocho. Because I'm doing a lot of my damage with uh, actually the stampede effect, so that's where I'm kind of you know kind of working with that. Okay, let's go ahead and just dance around this guy. He could, he's gonna death fart me, I'm sure. There you go. We got my buddy in blue. Let's go ahead and zip around him here. Most of my damage, like I said, is coming from that uh, stampede effect. There we go. There's a nightingale. Okay, we got we got him whittled down. We've been getting we've been getting more beacons. You can see the power bar shrinking up. We need to get back. I think we need to go cap a beacon. Let's go ahead and uh, you know, let's go ahead and change this out here. I'm gonna we're actually gonna this is gonna quit real quick. So I want to drop my Titan so I can get my honor points for that. Let's see if I can get a kill with this because we just about got this lined up. Let's get him off there. Let's go ahead and work on the Luchador here. Give him a little love. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, it went to reflector mode. Okay, let's go ahead and give myself a little bump to my Aegis shield. One more shot, one more shot. Let's gotta wait for it. Let's get him in the air. Come on, come on, one more shot, one more shot. Oh, come on, he is so tough. Come on, come on, come on. And boom, there we go, got him. Nice, there we go. Okay, one more shot here, one more shot on down there. We got two, we got two of them. It's, yeah, it's just going to be sliver thin, but we've got this. We've got the victory here. Um, it was fun, guys, running the Kepri. I haven't run that in a long time, and I'm glad I put it back out on the battlefield. Just like I did the Raven a little while ago. Definitely some interesting times. All right, guys. Time to bail out of here. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. 
Alrighty guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield. <laughs>